Welcome to Pro Kitchen Tutorials. In today's tutorial, we are going to take a look at how quick and easy it is to design a kitchen using Pro Kitchen software. Today, we will be using our classic interface. We will have our ribbon interface in another video. Let's hit OK. So let's get started. We're going to create a new design. Hit OK. And here in the design file, click the little folder and we can enter the name of our file. We will name this one Pro Kitchen. In 10, Classic. And hit Save. You can also add your customer and dealer designer supervisor construction, but we're going to go right to moldings. We're going to pick our catalog, pick our light rail, we'll use the light baffle, our top molding, our catalog again here. Use the Windsor and then we'll do our toe kick and this will make it easier when we apply these in our design. Then we're going to go to our 3D where you can change your countertop, wall covering, flooring, and ceiling. We're just going to change our countertop right now. Let's hit select, go to granite, we'll come down, we'll choose this one here and hit OK and then OK to get us out of that screen. So let's add our walls. We will come up to our sketch toolbar here on the left and we'll sketch our first wall here at 148 and then our second wall we'll do at 124 and hit enter. We'll hit the escape to set our walls. With our walls set we can set our cabinets. Let's pick our catalog and we're going to pick our base cabinets. We always want to start on the base, so let's go to base corner, and we're going to take a Lazy Susan, and yeah, let's do this one here, and set the base. Then we're going to go to our standard base cabinets, and we're going to get a base 12, and put it to the right of the Lazy Susan. Then we're gonna get a base 12 right, and we're gonna place that here, we'll bring that over shortly. We're going to get a base 33 and place that here and a base 15 right here. Let's get a sink base, sink base 36. Now let's go to our appliances. We're going to the left toolbar and pick appliances and let's do dishwasher. We're going to put a dishwasher in. We'll do a stainless steel and place that. And then we're going to do cooking because we want a stove. So let's put in a gas range. And let's do this top one here. Put that in. And then we're going to do a refrigerator. So let's go to refrigeration. We'll do a top refrigerator, stainless steel, and we'll hit place. Okay, cancel. And then we're gonna move everything right into position. We're gonna change our refrigerator Let's change that to a 30 inch. Give us a little more room here. And then we're going to add our wall cabinets. We are going to start with our wall corner cabinet. So we'll go to wall corner cabinet, corner wall 12 inches deep. We'll do 30 inches high and we'll do a left hand. Then we'll go to our standard wall cabinets 12 inches deep, 30 inches high. And we'll put a 24 inch here. We'll need a 36 over the dishwasher and 12 inch cabinet here. A 27 to the right of the stove. And then a 33. Now we'll need one for over the range and refrigerator. We'll do 12 inches high. We'll need a 30 inch over the stove. And we'll do a 33 over the refrigerator. All right, all our cabinets are set. So let's add an elevation here. And we'll click the elevation button on the top toolbar after we click our wall and we get our first elevation so we'll click our second wall hit elevation and there's our second wall let's add a window over the sink so we go to the left toolbar again and hit windows we'll do a casement window casement window brown and we'll do a 36 inch high and we'll place that and left click to place if you right click and hit center and click on your sink base, it will center the window over the sink. Now we'll go to elevation one and we'll add a microwave here over the range. So go to your appliances again, 
and microwaves are in cooking, and then go to microwaves, over the range microwave, and we'll do a stainless steel again, and we'll place it here. Left click to place, and then you can click the green box here to raise it. Now let's center our refrigerator for our cabinet, and then let's, let's edit our refrigerator to 69 and a half inches high, and hit OK. And there we have our appliances and our cabinet set. Now we can add a sink two different ways on the sink base. We can either go into the attributes in the sink and add it here, sinks and faucets, or we can use the catalog for plumbing on the left toolbar. You hit plumbing and you have your plumbing catalog. If you have Kohler, you can use your Kohler catalog as well. We'll hit kitchen fixtures, sinks, under counter, two basin. Do a stainless steel and place. You can place it on your sink base cabinet. And then we'll go to faucets and pick a faucet. Once you have your faucet, hit place and you can place it on your sink base. And then hit cancel to remove the screen. Now we can go to moldings and place our crown molding, light rail, and toe kick. So we're going to go to moldings here in the left toolbar, click on moldings, and it will add your toe kick, your crown molding, and your light rail from where we had set it in the beginning in our design settings, making it an easy one click to add all three. Then we will go to our countertops, and this adds countertops to all the cabinets. And now, Let's set our global specifications. On the top toolbar, we'll go to global specifications here. And here is where we'll add the door style, wood species, and finish. Let's pick our designer series. We'll do the Alpine in clear alder. Let's do it in iron. We do not want any glaze or sand through. And you have to make sure that everything that says, please click to select, is selected for all your reports. Now that we have everything set, we can go to our 3D rendering. Go to 3D and everything will appear in your 3D. Now you can hold your right button to rotate your view and left to move your view. Let's get this positioned. And we can also do an HD rendering which gives a high definition, more realistic look. And it will bring up a small screen for a preview. You can click here, conventional LCD monitor. We're gonna add additional highlights because our cabinets are dark. And then we're gonna do the maximum image quality. It's a lot slower, it takes a lot longer to render, but you get a more realistic view. Now we're going to up the countertop a little bit and the flooring to get a more glossy look because it's a granite countertop and a, a nice tile floor and the appliances are midpoint. So we're gonna hit render and this will take a little while, but I'll speed it up. And here's our HD rendering. Here you can notice the gloss on the floor, the shine on the appliances, giving that more realistic look. And this is a kitchen in 10 minutes. This has been Pro Kitchen Tutorials. Thank you for watching.